So, I seen some videos online and I want to get down into the nitty gritty with the super capacitors. I have been very interested in super capacitors and especially a certain part of these new super capacitors coming out called graphene. Now, I've got a, uh, a bottle of graphene here, brand new bottle. I, I spilled a touch of it. it, just, it but I put some of the graphene inside of here. You can see here. What we've got here is some polyurethane. This is triple satin polyurethane. And so it kind of dries on thicker. So you only need to put one coat in a comparison. I've got a paintbrush here. And in front of me, I've got some plates just like this. Okay. And I've got four plates. And I want to do an experiment with the four plates. So, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to make two plates with the uh, graphene and carbon like it was shown in the video and I'm going to make two plates without the graphene and without the carbon. And I want to see the results of both and both these, all the plates, they've been scuffed up really, really well. You can see the sanding. I've sanded, sanded them pretty good. So, uh, the one thing is all the plates but one has been scuffed up really well. This one has not been scuffed up hardly at all. Okay? So this one is going to be one of the plates that I will not use the graphene and I will not use the carbon. So I'm going to go ahead and show you here. I'm going to take some of this that's probably too much, but I'm going to stick it in here and I'm going to stir it up real good. And the color's changing and etc, etc. I'm going to get it in here really, really, really well. I hope this is enough for the job. Okay, now, so I'm going to take the next part, I'm going to get some carbon. This is activated carbon right here. It don't take a lot. I've uh, ground it up in a blender. You can use a coffee, a uh, bean coffee grinder or whatever you want. Just take your bag and sprinkle it all over it. Nice and thick. I'm sprinkling on there real thick. And it's totally dry to my hand. It's just the dust from where I chopped it up real fine. So we're just going to add a little extra on there. Real thick. And I'll try to salvage anything if this is a very good experiment. I, I really want to have an awesome experiment with this. So, we've got to let this dry. I'm going to probably heat it up thoroughly and I want to come up with a good solution for a power supply. I want to do a very low amp draw power on this and I want to do a high amp draw power on this. So we got two plates and we're going to do everything we can to get this thing rolling. And I'm going to go ahead and move forward with it. We've already made our plates. We have to let it dry. And then, so I'm going to clean up the brush and the stuff here. And then we're going to make two different cells one with the carbon and one without it. Okay? See you when it's dry. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've let this stuff dry, and I went ahead and cut me out of uh, some heavy-duty paper towels, uh, a divider between the two capacitors here, plates, the two plates for the capacitor. Here's one plate. And the other plate is just like it on the other side. I've got wires attached to both the plates. Basically, I'm going to flip this over. Lay it down on that, it's like so. And then we're going to seal it up inside of this heat shrink. But before we do that, we're going to put an electrolyte. Now, this is phosphoric acid. You're going to want to be pretty careful with that. So, I got some gloves. I'll put on the gloves. I will saturate both plates and the separator for this device. Now, I want everybody to understand that this is a bit different than your conventional capacitor. Your conventional capacitor would have a dielectric in between the two plates. Now this has an electrolyte in between the two plates so kind of like a super battery capacitor. This thing should be able to charge really quick and discharge really quick and run light loads for good amounts of time. So what we're going to do is try to run some uh, small LEDs off of it, see how long they run and then if I can find us a uh, a 5 volt motor. Maybe I can run a 5 volt motor off of this for a while. We'll see what we come up with on this right here, but for now I'm going to go ahead and start lubricating all the components. So, Alright, so I'm not going to use a plastic bristle brush. I'm going to use the paper towel itself. So, I'm going to have to uh, separate that because that is uh, contaminated with acid and now I've like, folded some paper towels up
Okay, so now we got our super graphene capacitor right here. I've got the wire shorted right here. I have not charged it at all, so we're going to attempt to charge this with uh, a battery. Okay, I can hear it sizzling slightly inside the supercapacitor. Let me get the voltage meter. Okay. All right, we're on DC power right here. Okay. And I'm going to check the voltage right between these terminals. And we're reading 370 millivolts. Let's see if we can charge this thing up a little bit. Alright, so that's about 10 seconds. And we've got 1.2 volts output on uh, the right side, which I've determined positive, and the left side determined negative. Okay, and this is a backwards capable charging. We can charge this backwards. I can reverse the polarity and charge this backwards. So right now it's it's pretty warm. But uh, let's see if we can find... Uh, let's see if we can charge it up to about 3 volts here. Let's see what do we got now. It's 1.0. So that's about 17 seconds of charge. And we're at uh, 1.35 volts. So we've made a 1.35 volt capacitor here. Now I want to see how quickly we can discharge it. So I'm short circuiting the capacitor. And this thing's getting hotter and hotter. It's not getting any colder, it's getting hotter. So right now we're at uh, 400 millivolts again. And this thing uh, is probably somewhere around 110 degrees. And it, it's hot. Definitely very hot. So. 360 ohms. Uh, I may have overcharged it uh, too much. Maybe I should have charged it much slower. But as of right now, it doesn't seem to be holding a charge anymore. And 
I've damaged it. But luckily I've got enough stuff to make like a hundred of these and I can redo these plates. It's probably just the uh, the fluid inside that is uh, becoming a problem. But it's, uh, it's a project, super hot project. It's a project deal and I just thought it'd be fun to do. So, if you want to build one of these, don't expect it to be totally useful unless you're more careful with your charging. I charge it at a really high amp rate and that may have damaged it, so be careful. Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.